I'm really excited for what this next year will bring in my sewing journey. My last make that I loved left me feeling so inspired. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it. But I know that it's hard to move forward with all of these plans and excitement and ideas until I finish some of the things. So don't judge this closet. This is my sewing closet. But I'm pulling out this dress that I started back in June. It is almost finished. It literally is like 90% finished. Not really sure what made me stick it in a UFO situation, but that's what happened. I think I originally wanted to make a shirt to go underneath and just never got around to that. So I said, why not just wear the dress without a shirt underneath? I love that it is pink and springy and vintage. And I love that it is a slim fitting skirt when I've been making a lot of full skirts lately. So I need to get the instructions back out because it's been so long since I started this project. I need to figure out just where I am in the process and I need to get this done so that way I can move forward with all of the new things I have planned. So it appears that all I need to do is attach the bodice to the skirt and give the dress a hem and it'll be done. I was so close to the end of this process, but don't worry, I will take you back to the beginning. I'm not really sure why I stopped. I think I had a few bad makes in a row and I think I was discouraged and a little bit burned out on my sewing journey. I don't think I seen the necessary progress that I wanted to see, but I think that's because I wasn't putting in the amount of work and study and skill learning and all of those things that it takes to actually truly grow as a seamstress. I wasn't as aware of my size as I should have been. And so I was making things that didn't fit me and weren't flattering to me. And so I was really discouraged. My last dress, the one I mentioned earlier, I made the necessary alterations for it to fit me well. And I loved it. And now I am so excited to sew more. And so again, and so that's what we're gonna do. So I had to get this machine threaded with pink thread. I still had a bobbin full of it. So yeah, we're gonna get going and get this finished. But before we get to the end, let's go back to the beginning. Back in June, when I first started this project. So this is the pattern I'm working with today. It is a vintage butterick from the 1950s. I'm actually gonna do the slim fit version because I never do the slimmer silhouettes. I always just think 50s and full skirt and just always wanna do that. So I'm gonna give a slimmer silhouette a try and see how I like that. I also love the buttons going down the back. I wanna find some really nice ones or I'll just cover some, I'm not sure yet. And then I'm also going to do the three quarter length sleeve blouse to go underneath this. I'm going to be using this fabric for the dress. It has a little bit of a stretch to it, which I think is gonna come in handy because this pattern is a little bit smaller than my measurements. So the fabric I'm using for the shirt is just this pink cotton. I think this is gonna look really good with this. I know that we're going to do full bust adjustments and probably raise the waistline because I've noticed that I'm a bit short waisted and I usually need to take the waist up two inches. But I'm just gonna get all the pattern pieces out. Um, I'm probably gonna trace them off because that's what I've started doing. So that way I can make alterations to them and then full bust adjustments, raise the waist, and then we'll go from there and do fittings with the mock-ups. 
I sounded so excited in the intro. I had such a plan. I knew what I was going to do and how and why. And then it got put in a closet for six months. Does that ever happen to you? Do you ever start projects and then just disregard them? Let me know in the comments if this has ever happened to you. I didn't have any more of that Swedish tracing paper I have been using. So I found some old tissue paper that was kind of balled up. So I ironed it out as best as I can. And now I'm going to trace off my pattern pieces. I don't even remember doing this and tracing off the pattern pieces. So um, looks like I'm getting off to a good start. Looks like I may have done the things that were needed to be done. Maybe that's why it fit pretty well in the end. Couple of issues, but I do think my measurements have changed a little bit over the past six, six and a half months. So that was a thing. And I think this was either like my second or third full bus adjustment. So maybe that wasn't completely right either but yeah i'm kind of proud of myself for giving this a try i i really did not remember doing this so I'm pretty impressed so far so here is my new pattern i had to move the dart down a bit and kind of reshape it because of where my bus point hits and i added an inch with the full bust adjustment because of the fabric that I'm using, it's like got a little bit of stretch to it. And I just don't think I would be able to like accurately mock it up in like muslin. I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. And then hopefully I can make any changes that I might need directly to that, um, to the bodice as needed. So we'll see. I'm not really sure if this is a good idea or not or what that's going to mean. <laughs> But I do have extra fabric, so it is what it is. Um, it's a risk I'm willing to take at this point because I really don't want to waste time on a mock-up that's not going to be an uh, accurate representation anyway. So we're going to see. We'll see what happens. Looking at that full bust adjustment, I don't know if that, <laughs> if that looks the way that it should. Please share any thoughts that you have with that. I don't know if... A inch is a lot to be adding to a full bust adjustment. I'm not sure. Mm, don't know. But it looks looks a little strange. Um, so yeah, share any thoughts you have about that. So we see me cut out the bodice. Um, I am now transferring the markings for the darts. And I'm looking pretty good so far. So it appears that I did as I should and measured out those grain lines and made sure my pattern pieces were laid out correctly. I then got the darts pinned in place as they should be. And then it is time to finally head over to the sewing machine. It's a little strange to be sitting here editing footage from almost seven months ago. I definitely think my sewing as well as my filming has definitely improved since then but I don't I don't think I was doing a bad job at all I think I've been a lot harder on myself than necessary this dress that I was so opposed to getting finished because maybe I thought it would not be good it ends up coming out really well and so that is something I definitely want to work on for the new year is my confidence when it comes to my sewing and trusting my gut a little bit more as well as learning more techniques. So share with me what you want to do to improve your sewing. So this is where I left it off yesterday. I have the back pieces attached to the front at the side seams. I have it pinned but I haven't stitched it yet. It didn't quite add up and I wasn't sure if I should make it match more at the top or the bottom. I don't know what happened. The notches didn't really match up. I'm sure it had something to do with the full bust adjustment that I did. 
So I just decided to make it add up at um, the top. So it's only a little bit off at the bottom, but we'll see. This, like I said, was basically my mock-up. So I'm going to stitch these sides now and then try all of this on. When I laid the front piece across me, I could kind of see that my darts weren't ex like needed to extend more. So I did bring those out a little bit more. I hope that was the right choice. But I'm going to stitch this now and like roughly try it on and see where we are. Also, I would love for you to share with me any suggestions you have for sewing patterns you would like to see me sew or techniques that you would like to see me tackle. That would be great. So now I have the facing pieces. I'm seeing now that I was supposed to interface the facing itself and not directly on the bodice like I did, but I don't feel like that should be a big deal. So, or maybe I should interface these as well. I think I might. I think that might be a better idea. Another thing I would like to ask for is for your support and help when it comes to um, this YouTube channel. So if you could leave me any type of feedback or if you like the video, give it a thumbs up or share it with a friend or anything you could do to sort of help give my channel a boost would also be greatly appreciated. So back to the sewing, I am here now um, taking a few inches off the bottom of the pattern as it was a little long for me. Um, you can tell some time has passed. My nails are completely different, but they are really cute. I wish they looked that way now. So anyway, got the skirt pieces pinned down and then proceeded with getting those cut out. And I think this was a fairly easy and quick make um it's a simple wiggle dress they're called or pencil dress and so um it was definitely a good choice for a project for me seven months ago um not really sure um why I didn't finish <laughs> we're still on that but here I am working with the facing getting it cut out and I think the next step is probably going to be to hem the bottom of that Okay, so in full transparency, I actually have a lot of projects that I started and did not finish. Some of them I am not going to finish, and I will tell you why. Based on the last dress that I sewn, I am more in tune to what I like and what I don't, and I just don't want to sew things that I don't like anymore or that I'm sewing for a good video or colors that look better on camera than what I actually prefer and or things that I thought I would like when I was looking at the pattern art and then ended up not liking in real life. I don't think I'm going to waste time finishing things that I just don't like. Um, I started a 1940s pattern that was going to be um, it's an evening gown and it's hanging on my mannequin right now and I just do not like it. I am going to try and scrap that fabric. Um, and repurpose it or something. I have um, some Christmas dresses for me and Major that I started that I did not finish. Mm, I don't think they're going to get finished either. Um, I didn't like them and I just don't want to sell things that I don't like or things that aren't living up to where I think I am now in my skill set. So my next question is, is this a me thing or is it a seamstress thing? Do we all do this or am I the only one who starts things and scraps them or starts things and never returns to them or returns to them seven months later? Um, is this a prevalent theme is what I would like to know. I would like to know that it's not just me. So if it's you too, then, then please share. Okay, so as far as the sewing goes, you've seen me tack down the facing after I stitched it on and then return to work on the skirt. 
I had to draw in the lines for the self facing for where the buttons go all down the back and I had to pin in the darts and now we are at the sewing machine getting that work done. So in addition to the darts in the back of the skirt, it has pleats in the front of the skirt. And I do know that when I do finally put on the finished dress, I did not particularly like how the pleats pull a little bit in the front. And I wonder, does this have something to do with the skirt being a little too tight, like pulled in the butt area? And so I'm definitely wondering, is there a certain thing as a full butt adjustment <laughs> or is it only full bust adjustment? And here we are covering buttons again, which is a common theme on this channel. This dress has nine buttons going down the back, but I was very surprised to see that I did practice a bit before I stitched in those buttonholes. And so very happy with that. And they do all look really good, actually, all nine of them. So that is definitely impressive. So at this point, I have the button sewed on. I have the buttonholes put in. I'm going to stitch the skirt at the side seams. And I think that will be the last step that I completed before I didn't touch it again for all of those months. And so, um, yes, so here I am pinning it all together. Oh, I love this fabric. This fabric is so gorgeous. Um, I got it from Mood probably two years ago at this point, but I really, really love this fabric. And I think it was a really good project for it. My husband told me I looked like a vintage Barbie in it and so I told him it was Barbie core but vintage. <laughs> so here is the dress um, before it went on that hanger and into that crazy pit of a closet. And so now we're all cut up to just a few days ago when I pulled it out of the closet, I had to cut open these buttonholes. And this is always a very, very scary process for me, but um, it went really well using the seam ripper. I didn't put a hole any in anything as I've done a few times before. So that was definitely a win. So got all of the nine, I believe it is buttonholes opened up and then I took it to the machine to get the hem put in and that was it. This dress was complete. I am so, so proud of myself for finishing a UFO. It does not happen very often in this sewing room. So very, very glad that I did that. I love the finished garment, which I will show to you now. Pink is definitely not a color that I wear very often, but I love this fabric. I love how it's like ombre and cloud. Um, I did have a little bit of a fit issue in the back where the waistline is. I think I either need to put one more button there or a hook and eye to secure that, or even just like a bigger belt would have held it. I had no idea it looked like that until I seen this footage because, of course, I did not dress myself. My husband had to button this dress up. And so I do not recommend a dress that buttons all the way down the back if you don't have anyone to help you. So you could see there where that gaping is. Um, so that's an easy fix with either another button or hook and eye. But I really, really, really love this dress. I'm so happy it's completed. Let me know what you think and I will see you in my next video that is soon and sure to come.